Dana Denha, and you're watching FYI. During this stressful time in the history of our lives, we turn to art. We play a movie to make us laugh, read a book to transport us to another time, and use our hands to create. The Ann Arbor Art Center is making it more convenient to get the creativity flowing through resources on their website and the distribution and delivery of Artbox. Joining me is Marie Cloth, President and CEO of the Ann Arbor Art Center. Welcome to the show, Marie. So, Marie, I'd like to welcome you back to the show. As we were talking about when you first started with the Ann Arbor Art Center, you were actually a guest on FYI, and now we're back here again during this very, very strange time in <laughs> our history. So I, I mentioned in my intro that, you know, I do think like during this time, we've all sort of turned to art more than you'd expect or like it just sort of, we're drawn to it because when you're at home, I was even, it's funny, I was talking about this with my mom. Uh, my grandmother used to crochet all the time and she would like mm -hmm. make beautiful blankets all the time. And now that I'm at home all the time, I'm like, I can completely understand why she would want something like that to do while she's sitting there because I find myself I've been like painting more and like doing like more arts and crafts. Yay! Stuff. Yeah. It's it's interesting because I think that you know art is all those things but let's just fundamentally uh, it's about creativity and it's also a wonderful way to express yourself and it's a very difficult time in a lot of people's lives a challenging time and so it can be an escape it can be a way for them to kind of transport to a new place it can be a way for them to you know, work out some of their stresses by by creating. So uh, there's a lot of value to art, especially now. I know that human resources, there are a lot of people that need a lot of basic needs, but I, I think it's important to keep in mind the role that art can play in helping you emotionally while your physical needs are being met as well. Completely agree. So once this sort of pandemic hit, what was the first step that the Ann Arbor Art Center was doing to sort of make sure that people were still having that availability to creativity? You know, I think for all of us, you know, I, I, we didn't expect it to come down the way it did so quickly. I think for as the leader of this wonderful organization, there were three priorities that came to mind. One was to keep everybody safe. Two was to figure out how to keep this team intact during this time of uncertainty. Mm -hmm. And the third one was to make sure that they kept their health care benefits. So with that in mind, we made a lot of sacrifices as a group during, during this time. Everybody took a cut in pay. Everybody took a cut in hours. And, but we continued to work. And what we found, and I'm, I'm certain that this time is going to go down in the history of the Art Center as some of the most productive time we've ever had. because you know, we are a creative organization. It didn't take very long for everybody to creatively find ways to continue to connect even though they could come to the building. So I don't know if you've been on the website, but I encourage you to go. There's a, there's a link art resources page, which we update weekly with really cool things for families and youth to do. And the response to that has been overwhelming. So uh, we're really excited about that project. And then Artbox. Artbox is something that we have wanted to launch for probably three years. Oh, this was like in the making, you were working on this, yeah. The concept was there. The original concept was Artbox was a way to get art outside of our building and into the hands of those who couldn't make it to Ann Arbor or in, in rural areas. So it was a way to connect with a larger audience that we had never tried before. But we just didn't have the bandwidth to get it going the way it needed to get going. Mm -hmm. So what happened was when this happened, all of a sudden we had that time to explore it. So we really ramped up the art boxes. We started making them. And it's like, um, you know, once we launched it, we have orders for over a thousand boxes right now. Wow. So are and, you able to, um, do you have the distribution for that at the moment? Or are you able to keep up with that demand? Or it's been a bit of a challenge because just like all other manufacturing was down, uh, manufacturing for art products was also down. So we have really scrambled to find the supplies. But the good news is, is last week and just wrapping up this week, all of our supplies have come in. So we are ready to rock and roll. So we're in there. We're doing um, social distancing. So only one person can be in the building at a time and we rotate that. So all of the supplies are in, the assembly line is being set up, and we're gonna start producing these boxes uh, beginning tomorrow. So yes, we're gonna start filling that demand, which we're really excited about. 
Do you see, um, I don't, I've not actually seen an art box in person. I went on your website and sort of looked and it teases that there's stuff in there. Can you tell us a little bit about what we can get in our art box? Uh, well, I can show you an art box if you'd like. I would, would you love like to, to see, see an art box. Yeah. Okay. The, the camera's going to wiggle, but just ha hang with me here. Yeah. This is such, art box is such a great idea to like make it easy for people that sort of don't know what, what to make and like want to create stuff and it sort of helps yes. them along the way. So this is what the art box looks like when you get it. It's a pretty big box, right? Mm -hmm. And if you open it up inside, first of all, there's art instructions, so it's a little thick, and it tells you all different kind of projects. It gives you suggestions of things that you can do with the products that are inside the inside the art box. And here's what you will see. Wow. So we have colored pencils. We have paint. We have scissors. We have sidewalk chalk. We have glue sticks. We have um, different types of paper. We have crayons. So this is really for, it's a one-stop shop if you don't have these products. So this is what you get when you get an art box. And then do you give, in the in the resources one, you go, sort of give ideas of like what you could be making too? Absolutely. So we update those weekly. So there are all different kinds of, um, every week we come up with new things that you can do with the supplies that are in the art box. And you can go back and look at prior weeks too to get other ideas of um, projects you can do. So how do you get the, is that something that's on your website or once you order art box, you are connected to the resources that you get? So inside our box is a, you know, a get started packet of ideas, but weekly or anytime you can go onto the website to the art resources page and we upload new projects at that time. So anybody has access to that all the time. I'm actually going to go over there right now. I'm going to go over to your web page so people can see, you know, what to expect when they go on the website and then you can sort of go on the website and see what the website your website's great i love your website um Thank it's you. so easy to navigate you know it gives you all the resources right here art resources and then you can cycle through this stuff and you'll see art box which is what we were just talking about is the art yep. box slide and then your resources here and this is i mean and it's fun too it's like you're looking you're like oh what can i do what can i create and like I, that's yeah. how i felt when i was looking at it like what no, can i do next it's really fun because it's not just for youth. We have adults that are doing projects as well. So there's really something for everybody. I mean, creativity, it doesn't have, it's not bounded by ages. So that's what's really fun and unique about Artbox. You know what's funny is I have a, a daughter that's almost four years old and we do like these like kids crafts together and I find myself totally into it. Like I can't tear right. myself away from it. Well, so, so it's that. It's, that's a nice thing. You can do it together as a family, but also we know that a lot of parents are at home and they're trying to get work done. They're, everybody's working remotely. And so having something, and, and another thing we hear from parents all the time is that they're concerned about their, the amount of screen time that their kids have. So the cool thing about this is that they don't have to be you know, tied to a computer to do these projects. And it is something that can occupy them for hours while their parents work. So. Well, Marie, we're going to take actually a, just a quick little break and we'll be back with more from the Ann Arbor Art Center. And we're back with Marie Clock with the Ann Arbor Art Center. So we were just talking about Art Box, but why don't you talk about some of those other resources? Like I saw on your webpage, you have like a weekly art challenges and stuff like that. Is that something that you always do? No, that's one of the other really fun things that we've had a chance to do with. And we've had so much fun with the submissions that we get from people. So all kinds of things. We have a weekly art challenge, so keep up. We have, and everyone is doing these. We have... 80 year old people and we have four year old people that are submitting things that they do with these so it's really kind of fun and uh if you, you can get on our social media web if you uh submit it you know what's interesting about the arts too is that i feel like some people um 
like shy away from it a little bit because they think they're not good at it. And I personally think like everyone's good at it. Like you just need to let your creativity out. And, and I think no matter what, how it turns out, it's, there's something very satisfying about like using your mind and heart and soul and like putting something together that just means something to you. You know, it's funny. It's funny you would say that because I have now come to the understanding in life that artists are some of the bravest people in the world. And but we need to be taught young about that because they face a blank page every day, right? And and it's whatever there's no rules, there's no guidelines, there's no anything. You get to do whatever you want. And so I feel like it's really brave. People are really intimidated by doing it. But once they start doing it, it's shocking what comes out of it. If you don't have a plan, just create. I know. And I mentioned my grandmother earlier. And I'm going to mention my mom now because um, during this time, you know, she was always someone that always had kids around. You know, the grandkids were always at her house and they don't get to be there anymore. And she started sewing masks. And then she was like talking about getting a sewing machine and like making more stuff. And I'm like, yeah, do it. And she'd always felt like she couldn't be that person. And now yep. she's like, I can do anything. She told me the other day she can do anything. And I was like, you can. Oh, that's <laughs> good for her. <laughs> so I feel like I what you guys are doing is sort of like providing the steps for people to feel that way, to feel that confidence about themselves and what they can do. Yes, for sure. I had one uh, who's a grandmother and has grandkids and her, uh, she can't see her grandkids because she's, um, you know, been self-quarantined, but the, her, both, the, the children's parents are working. So two hours a day, they have a scheduled time where she gets on a Zoom meeting and the kids have their art supplies in front of them and they work together. So that's her chance to connect with the kids during this odd time and uh, through art. Yeah, and I think it really does. It causes, it creates this connection that you don't even like expect it to happen, but it does. I noticed I was making like this, like melt, I was melting crayon painting, and all of a sudden my husband, me and my daughter were doing it together, and all of a sudden my husband's in there doing it with us. Like it's bringing everyone <laughs> in our house together. Yes, I saw the neighbors out, um, the dad and the mom, and the two little girls, I think they're two and four, were all doing sidewalk chalk. So, I mean, it's a family affair. Art is a family event now. Yeah. So is there anything else you'd like to mention about the Ann Arbor Art Center or resources or anything available before we go? You know what? We work very hard and we put everything on the website. And we have, if you're not on the newsletter, sign up for the newsletter. And, and that is a great way to stay connected. We're trying to keep it interesting. We're trying to change it up. And we're always going to be there with ideas and suggestions and resources for you. So tune into the website and check us out. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show, Marie. Thanks for inviting me. And I hope to see you all soon. For more on this and other programs, visit a2gov.org slash ctn. Visit youtube.com slash ctn Ann Arbor to see all that we have to offer. And remember to like, comment, and share. Thanks for watching and tune in next time to FYI.